What's up guys, Thomas here coming at you with another video. Today, I'm making a video about this little DIY project I got going on. I am making a um, cup holder for my Land Cruiser. This is 100 series, and if you own a 100 series, you know that the front cup holder sucks. I mean, there's this little um, insert you can put in there that doesn't make it any better. So I have decided to take on the task of trying to make a uh, decent cup holder so let's check this out so this right here is a stock cup holder um as you can see there's there's usually a little door that folds down i've already been messing with this thing so i've i've uninstalled that but uh let me just show you a, a quick example of what's going on here so you have this cup holder that holds about four inches big and if you don't have an insert i mean you put something in there it's not really deep enough to hold anything you can get this insert and kind of you know, push it to clamp things down. And that doesn't really do that much of a better job. As you can see, I broke one end of it because it's old and brittle, but yeah. But not all Land Cruisers have this thing. So then you're stuck with these huge open gaps and that isn't holding shit. So now I'm gonna show you what I kind of have right now. I've been working on this thing for like two days and this is a little ghetto piece I have made um, by making a template, um, cutting it with a circular saw, a circle saw, I mean. And this is actually a piece of a skateboard. Check it out. It still has a grip tape on it. This is the old toy machine deck that I had. And yeah, so I mean, that's a little more of improvement. Um, I've ordered inserts to go in here. I have ordered like three different inserts so I can see if I can modify them to put them in here to hold the cup good. But uh, so far, this is uh, better than the stock um, option, which to me is like not an option at all. But yeah. All right. So let me show you what I had to do to get this piece out to actually create a template. So you unscrew the little shift knob here for the uh, transfer case, switch in high, low. Then there's a little plastic tab thing you got to take off here so you can push this button and, uh, you know, shift it in the neutral. So then what you're going to do is, uh, bear with me here, I'm working with uh, one pair, well, one set of hands. But anyways, you kind of pop this guy up like this and there's these little, you know, switches that you pop out. And once you pop these switches out, you can take off the connectors and once you get the connectors off, oh, there you go, they're all off and you have that positioned, you can actually just pull this guy right out. And there you go, cup holder is out. What I don't understand about this cup holder is as you can see, um, the cup holder portions are like shifted to the side. There's a, like a lot of space here, no space here. And I mean, there's like where the four inch hole is, it's like, boom, right at the edge of the material here. So trying to get these holes lined up right was kind of difficult, but I'll show you how I did that later. Good about the design here is why this is offset like this. Because if you look in the center console, there's nothing there to deem why they had to do it that way. So if I really wanted to get crazy with this DIY cup holder business, I would take this piece off and probably design something that just replaces this whole piece. And for all you know, there's probably an OEM part that you could buy. Probably not from Toyota, but maybe like a Chevy Yukon part or some other SUV. That would probably fit in there if you modified it a little bit. But in this case, um, I'm just going with something like this. And, you know, eventually maybe I will have a way better cup holder than this one. But right now, this is the first version I'm going with. All right, guys. So let me show you these uh, awesome engineering tools that I'm using to create this template. As you can see, I got some cardstock, which, I mean... This is pretty much leftovers from a, a sparkling water box and a frozen pizza box. So that's what I've been working with here. Um, space age materials. 
So as you can see, I got this little cutting mat right here so you don't cut up the table because the lady would not be too pleased with that. Um, got me a box cutter, exacto nice ruler. I got a bigger ruler somewhere else. And um, as you can see, here's the stock part. So here's the actual template that I created. Um, and it goes on, boom, just like that. So as you can see, it's a pretty good fit. So how did I come about this template pretty easy? So I'll show you what I actually did. All right, so let's get to how I actually created this template. So this piece usually goes right here. Actually, it goes the other way. This piece, and when it's installed in the car, it's right here and it shuts and it closes down and it stays over like that. And then there's a little spring mechanism that you push it and it'll pop back up. So I was like, man, this is already the perfect size. So me being the genius that I am, I was like, let me just create a template by tracing this guy. And as you can see, that's pretty much exactly what I did, is I just traced this guy onto a piece of cardstock and cut it out and it fit perfectly. So the challenging part now is figuring out how to get these holes properly aligned over there. And I'll show you how I did that next. All right guys, so right now I'm gonna show you how I was able to, um, I guess, get these holes to align properly over this hole. As you can see, I'm working with um, advanced technologies here, advanced materials and tools. So what I did initially is I just unscrewed the actual cup holder from the shifter housing. That's what I'm calling it. Don't know the official name of it, but I'm gonna call it the shifter housing. So this is pretty much just three little screws right here. And I remove the screws. And the method I'm about to show you is my way of doing it because I suck at measuring and I'm more of a visual guy and this worked out perfectly for me. So as you can see, the actual cup holder comes off pretty easily. I mean, ideally you'd wanna redesign this whole part right here but I ain't got the skills, the smarts, or the time for that. So I'm doing it my way. So what I did was pretty simple. I took some of this clear tape and I pulled it and I just taped it over the cup holder like so. And it took about two pieces to do that. Boom. So there you go. As you can see now, there's tape covering that. And then from there, I took a Sharpie and I just kind of traced the, the openings of the hole. So I just went like this, around, around, and I kind of followed the contour of the circle. And as you can see, this kind of draws a nice little circle there that you'll see probably a little bit better once I pull the tape off. So as you can see, um, well, you can't really see it now, but let me put, peel this tape off and I'll show you what I got here. Oh, man. Which you, you probably want to do a bigger overlap so the tape kind of sticks. Before, I think I did three pieces, so it overlapped a little bit better, but I'm trying to show you just roughly how I did it. So as you can see, um, it leaves some circles right there. And what I did is I put the cardboard here, and then I laid this down on the cardboard, which I'm not gonna do right now. I'm just gonna do it on this sheet. and. As you can see, you can see the circles there. So to complete those circles, I found a cup that fit perfectly in there. And I just took the pieces and I took the cup and I just kind of traced around like this. Then you line it up with this guy over here. And when I initially did this, I was a little more careful 
but I'm just trying to get through this to show you guys on video how it's done. So as you can see, now you have the two round holes there. And pretty much what I did from there is I took a piece of cardstock and I transferred this piece of tape onto it. And then um, I created a, you know, a template. But the issue is, you see these holes? They're about four inches. And if you actually, if you actually draw a four inch circle on here, it's gonna come to the edges and you're not gonna have enough material. There's gonna be holes. I have another template, I'm gonna throw it away. So what I ended up having to do is then take these four inch holes and downsize them to about three and a half inches. And three and a half inches gives you just enough material to where, you know, you're not out of space and pretty much making something that's useless. So now with that little uh, walkthrough on how I created the template, we'll get to um, the actual piece that I have now. So as you can see, I have this, I had a skateboard laying around and the contour of the skateboard matches the contour of the console pretty well. So what I did is I had my huge long board and I took this template right here and I placed it over the board and just traced it and then once it was traced, I uh, took a hole saw and cut these holes out. These are three and a half inches. And then I took a jigsaw and I cut this with a jigsaw and it wasn't perfect. So I have a file, a wood file, and I actually sat here and filed this down by hand so it would fit perfectly in the console. So I probably need to invest in some sort of um, drum sander because I do a lot of sanding and I end up using a wood file and it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort and, but anyways, yeah. So this is where I'm at today. So the plan is I ordered some, some uh, rubber inserts for OEM cup holders. There's a three and a half inch one I, I ordered that fits in here. And there's a foam one I ordered because I'm trying to model this after my ridge line. And the ridge line has these like little foam flaps. So when you push a cup in, it, the flaps hit it. So I ordered a uh, an OEM piece of that, so maybe those flaps will fit in there. So I ordered like two or three separate uh, solutions that I'm gonna try and see how that goes. But as of today, this is where I'm at. And maybe one day I'll be at uh, creating a whole new replacement for this. Well, now that I'm looking at it, it would probably be pretty easy. I mean, it's only, it, I could probably take a piece of wood that's probably, I don't know. Let's see, let's grab the ruler here. Uh, that's less than, that's about four and a half inches. It's probably like nine inches wide. So, I mean, I could probably get a piece of wood. It's pretty flat. There isn't any crazy contours you got to follow. So, eventually, maybe I'll replace this. But right now, let's just concentrate on this guy. And, yeah, man, this is where I'm at, guys, as of today. Well, guys, there you go. That's part one of my cup holder project for my Land Cruiser here. So hopefully you liked that video. Like always, thank you for watching. Peace.